Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to con how to set up a Raspberry Pi. So we have a Raspberry Pi, then we have a memory stick. As you can see, it has a, a SD on it. So because we're going to uh, put an operating system on the SD card, then I have a router uh, for, for the network. So if you are using a LAN cable, it's still fine. So now let me take uh, this flash drive to my PC then to show you how to set up, how to load uh, an operating system on the SD card. The first thing that you need to do, you need to uh, put in your SD card or micro SD card. Make sure you put your micro SD card. Okay, then uh you go to those three softwares i showed you how to download the three software the first one which is the raspberry pi uh imager second one is party the third one third one is vlc viewer okay uh let's start with this one party let's start with this one raspberry pi imager so you double click okay Letting you install. And it says finish. Okay. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Major is the is the quick and easy way to install Raspberry Pi OS. OS stands for operating system to a macro SD card. So make sure your Raspberry your SD card is loaded on the on the PC. So uh, you start by uh, choosing the OS, the operating system, so I recommend you to use this one, the 32-bit. So you can use others, but I recommend you to use this one for now. Click that one, make sure it's a Raspberry Pi OS, 32-bit. Then you choose your storage, so your SD card, the micro SD card, you choose that one. So then before we load the operating system on the SD card, so the first thing that you need to do, so you go to the settings, uh, then you say, you click this one, set host name, so you don't change it. You can change it if you want to, but I recommend you to leave it like that, raspberry pi dot local. Then, okay, you click this one, you click and enable SSH, then you go to username, so you change your username to pi pi then you put your password uh, that you can remember it doesn't have to be a long password so you can just uh, put your password all right then uh, let me start put your password Okay, then you click on configure wireless LAN. Okay, so on this one, make sure, make sure the network that you are using, this is the network name if you are using Wi-Fi or LAN. So make sure uh, you write the same name as your network name. So my network name, I called it alpha mail, then this is uh, the password. So I won't show the password. So if you want to, uh, yes, you can you can hide the uh, if you yeah, you can show the password here. So I don't need to show it. So okay. So here wireless land country. This one is Great Britain. You can change it uh, to in to a country. So Great Britain. So like I'm 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 from South Africa. So. It will be SA, so but I will just leave everything as it is for now. Don't do anything. So you can click eject uh, media when finish if you want to. It's, it's up to you. So make sure your setup is like that. Host name Raspberry Pi. You see it's dot local now. Don't forget that. Then you click the SS. 
then you change your username to pi then you put your, your unique password uh, then remember this password and this password are not the same yeah you can make them to be the same it's up to you but for me this and this are not the same okay then remember to click on configure wireless LAN uh, okay then you save then after saving you write so meaning it's loading now it's loading the operating system to the SD card so yes so it's busy writing to the SD card It'll take some time. Okay, so when it's done, you can click continue. Okay. So meaning we are done with the SD card. So you can take out your SD card. Just taking out your SD card. Okay guys, uh, when it's done, when uh, we are done with the operating system on the memory card, you put back the memory card. Uh, as you can see, let me show you. Put it this way. So yeah, it is over there. So you put it back on the uh, Raspberry Pi. So you will see there is an LED flashing. Let me do this. As you can see, we have a red LED light and a green light. So for you, so when you put a memory card, so normally it will blink faster to show that it's booting to boot to boot uh, on the uh raspberry pi so you sometimes it will take some time so you wait for it to blink slow like it is doing right now so when it's blinking fast meaning it's busy uh, loading the operating system on the uh, raspberry pi the sd card so when it's blinking slow it means it's done it might be done so when it's done and make sure that your router is on or your network you it's on so um okay so right now what we're going to do i'm just gonna uh, use vnc to to connect on this raspberry pi because it's, it's using linux as you saw when we were uh, loading the the operating system on the memory card all right let me show you then we go to this one party so you click this one so double click Next. so since i have the software uh so for you it will say install like it, it won't show that it's, it's, it say install so i just want to i just say Okay, so then when it's time, say finish. All right. Uh, if you are using Windows, I recommend you to use uh, this software, Party. Uh, since it's a free software, it's used for accessing the Linux software, which the Raspberry Pi is. Make sure your PC and the Raspberry Pi are on the same network. So make sure they're on the same network. So you go to Windows, then you go to search, say party, take this one, it looks like this. So make sure the SSH is clicked. So sometimes it might be like this or like this, so click SSH. Yeah? So you don't close it, just minimize it. Okay, then there's a last software we were supposed to install uh, that one is optional but i recommend you to 
install that software. So let me open a tab. Oh, let me do this. Go there. It's called Angry. It's called Angry IP. So it's called Angry IP Scanner. So it's also a free software. It gives a IP range of your network uh, to check which IP address Raspberry Pi is using. So click that. So I can click this one. Okay. So we are using Windows. So if you're using Windows, so we click this one. Software application. Okay. Then you double click. Okay. Then you click next. So install. So it will install. It's very quick. Then you click that. You tick that. So say finish. So it will appear. You can just minimize it. Then what you need to do now is to what you need to do now is to connect your Raspberry Pi. Okay, after connecting your Raspberry Pi, make sure you open uh, Angry IP Scanner. So when you open it, it will automatic it will automatically uh, have your uh, your IP for the network that you are using. Okay, then. What you need to do is just click uh, send. Uh, you just click start. So click start. So now we are looking for Raspberry Pi. So you wait. All right. So you click close. Then you scroll down looking for Raspberry Pi. I can see it. Voila, Raspberry Pi. So when you see Raspberry Pi, then you click, uh, you right click, then you copy the IP. So you copy, then you open party. So you open party, then you paste that IP on party. Open, make sure it's SS, SSH, it's 22. Then you say open. And it will show this message, uh, the host system, blah, blah, blah. Then you say accept. Then you do say login. Uh, remember your username for a Raspberry Pi is Pi. Then you say enter, look for password. You remember that uh, password. So let's set my password. Enter. Okay. So now that what we need to do, we are still busy setting up the Raspberry Pi. So you say sudo, you say space, and you say pi. Uh, I'm saying pi's So then when you get here, you use your, your, your arrows on your keyboard, you go to interface option, and you choose VNC. Would you like the VNC server to be installed? You say yes. Alright, the VNC server is enabled, so you click OK. Then. Uh, I think everything is fine. Everything is fine. So I'm just gonna say finish. Okay, since we are here, then you go and uh, install your VNC. So it's VNC.
So my PNC is installed already. So but now I'll just uh, use the repair. Finish. So then you go to Windows. Search. Search for VNC. VNC viewer. So click that. So remember I copied. Uh, remember I copied the IP. So you paste it there. So you want to access the, the Raspberry Pi. So you paste it there. Let me say enter. It will show. Uh, it will pop up something like this. Then you say continue. The host name Pi. That little password. Let's see if it will give you. Sometimes it's okay. So if it's doing that, so if it's doing that, you can uh, take out, you can switch off your Raspberry Pi and switch it on and wait for something like uh, two minutes or yeah, two minutes to three minutes. You wait, so I'm just gonna pause the video. Okay, so to make sure this thing is fine uh, so that the screen can appear. So what you need to do is you put the IP, then you look at your Raspberry Pi. Make sure Raspberry Pi, the green LED is not blinking fast. If it's blinking fast, it's, it's because of the operating system is still busy booting on the Raspberry Pi. So the operating system. So when the green LED is blinking slow, so it shows that it's fine. So Enter Pi. Okay, uh, voila. So you can do this. So, meaning this is a Linux software. So, you go here. So, let's see if it's working. So, say power programming. So, Thony. Okay, this software is for Python. So, let me do this. Okay, just gonna say print. Uh, like Python, so you can just say there. So okay, what's the problem here? Oh, no. So when you're done, you don't press enter, you press this one, run. So it will show that you did it. Okay, guys, that's how you set up a Raspberry Pi without using a monitor. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.